see a difference in how boys versus girls handle this? Part to that question is that they both suffer from confidence <laughs> issues. Um, I think for females, um, there's a lot more of a I don't want to let anyone else down factor. Okay. Um, I don't want to disappoint my parents, my coaches, my teammates. I think for boys, it's a lot of times um, the ego gets in the way. And that's just been my experience. And it's not in a bad way that the ego gets in the way. It's in a way that all circles back to, I don't want to let people down. So, I, uh, you know, I need to be the one to carry the team. I need to be the one to, to do this. And it's definitely there. It is definitely there for both girls and boys. Um, I, I think it just presents itself differently. So how should coaches, should they be coaching differently for boys versus girls? And what do you recommend? I heard something a long time ago that really stuck with me. Mike Candrea, um, softball coach from uh, Arizona, he's also he was the Olympic coach for many years. He said something that, that definitely resonated me, with me. He said, boys need to play good to feel good, and girls need to feel good to play good. Mm. And I thought, wow, is he right on? <laughs> he's right on. Because I think understanding a lot of times that boys do suffer from confidence issues, um, they are more attached to outcome um, in a way that if I don't play well, then maybe I'm not a good person. I've seen that come up a lot uh, where the self-concept kind of attaches to the outcome of how well I played today. As with for girls, um, you know, if they go into a situation where they're not feeling well, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally, it's a lot harder for them to feel confident. Um, because I think too often girls rely on other people to make them feel good. Yeah. Instead of looking inside and realizing that I have enough within myself to be confident to be able to do this. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization mp3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.